So starting off, stage bands. Oh yep, gotta change it. It's this tab. It'll it'll update. It'll update. It should or yeah, enter. Yeah, it'll update. There we go. Okay, so up dog versus Cobra Chain here. Um, here we have to actually go back for their character. So up dog is going Falco, and who knows who Cobra Chain will be? Might even go random, honestly. <laughs> going. Oh, okay. He doesn't have a tag on here. So, uh, Cobra Chain being an absolute legend of the Dayton Smash scene. Stand up guy. Yep. Yep. Uh, probably some of the strongest fundamentals uh, in the Dayton Smash scene can play almost any character at a decent level, but of course his mains elevate past that. Um. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's been playing for so long. Yeah. All right, starter, starter stadium two. Okay, okay. Snake? I feel like, okay, this is definitely, uh, it seems like Cam really trying this bracket. Going his main this early in bracket. Typically he might, you know, mess around a bit, but no, going straight to it. Going into game one here. Um. Ooh. Yeah, some... Yeah, some nice early combo game from Updog here. But Snake just gonna get right back on stage, threading the needle between Firebird and the ledge. Yeah. So for this set, I was thinking like, I honestly don't know how Falco's gonna be able to approach Snake because he's slow, doesn't really have anything that good to like break zones, but Updog, do you wanna... Yeah, solid lead here, but not counting Cam out. He's gotten a good amount of damage on Updog himself, too. Okay. Now, so far, Cobra Chain's been going for the Nikita missiles when Updog's off stage. But, uh, the problem is. Oh, oh my god, if he would have landed that. So uh, he's been going for the Nikita missiles when Updog's off ledge, but Updog's been able to side B to ledge. Once it gets to the point where Updog's too low to be able to side B and he has to use up B, that's when Nikita's just gonna devastate him. There you go. According to Esam, the best move in this game. Take that how you will. All right. Cobra Chain opting for back throws, just wanting to put up dog off stage. Not really going for down throw tech chases or anything like that. Yeah, because Cobra Chain is just going to keep recovering high, pulling grenades, trading. And and you, you don't want to play the trade war with Snake, because they're just going to lose. Oh, going too low, but I don't know how he slipped right past that Nikita. That would have been a great recovery if he had made a bag. He does. He wants a clip. Oh, okay. Okay. Cover chain just content to chill out. But up dog finding his kill option finally at exorbitantly high percents. Ooh, going for a roll read there. That F smash probably would have killed one of the stronger F smashes in this game. Okay. Up dog, picking up a little momentum here again. Now, when it comes to snake's web trapping, I find... Oh, up tilt. And it hit... The missile from the up smash too on the way up got some extra percent to make sure that killed but
Yeah. Yeah. There's just so many options for Cobra Chain to just hit him with something. But when it comes to Snake's ledge trapping, I find that up smash isn't a move. I get hit by it very often. It's just an option to cover space. Like, I've been hit by maybe one up smash like, from all the snakes I've played against, but it's the fact that it makes me get off the ledge in a very specific way that makes it such a good tool for snakes' advantage state. And... Definitely one of the few true, like, trap-based characters in Smash. But Cobra Chain going DK, and it's definitely not looking as good as Game 1 was. Oh, down there? Uh, not quite. <laughs> this definitely feels like more of classic Cam just messing around, you know, trying out some characters, but... Uh, just holding them. Alright, Updog's gonna have to try to find a way to kill DK, because DK's definitely gonna be able to find a way to kill Updog here, so. Ooh, I don't... Hmm. He need to be a little lower for that to be able to stage fight. Okay, missing the grab there. But yeah, it seems consistently so far. Updog's been having trouble killing. Oh no. I, I guess four errors at 160. Okay. Going for a down throw. Ooh. Yeah, if he had gotten that down tilt off the stage, Updog had already used his jump, and that would have probably been a wrap for Updog's stock there. That would have been an easy spike. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ledge trapping opportunity going in for a really unsafe F smash there. And just gonna go for the suicide. Cam literally not caring at all. Absolute grime master here. <laughs> Armoring through with that up B, but gonna get put in disadvantage. Updog not really capitalizing on it though. Honestly, I feel like Updog is doing some of the right things to get his advantage started, but once he's getting it, he's not really pushing it. Like, he'll get DK into a juggle situation, which is DK's worst position to be in. And then he's just, like, missing aerials or whatever. Oh, Vortex. And that's going to be the set. Cobra Chain being absolutely grimy, showing no respect. That's going to be a 2-0 for Cobra Chain going both Snake and DK there. Good stuff to Updog, though. Definitely, yeah, definitely solid play there.